secret is because I really wanted to talk to you, but I didn't have the courage to talk to you. And I said, really? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, that's just too bad, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I said, but you know what? I said, my honor tells me, and Margaret and I have this honor, that if you have been with her or if you were an ex-boyfriend or whatever it was, you have no chance with me. You see, because I honor my friends and I honor this relationship and I honor the truth. And the truth, and that's been my fault, I tell the truth all the time, all the time. And it's got me um, in, not in trouble, but it's got me to not be able to do some things that in other people's eyes they're going, why didn't you just lie and say? Because I won't do that, right? I won't do that. So I said to him, so I'm really sorry. If you would like to come back and see Margaret, she won't be here until Friday. But, um, you know, thank you very much. I think you better leave now. So he kept calling, 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 right? I wouldn't answer the phone or anything. But I did not tell Margaret that. To this day, she doesn't know that. Why? Why would I do that? Even though that was the truth, why would I do that? I would be living out of ahimsa. I would not be practicing consideration if I were to tell her. She doesn't need to know that. She's lived her life proudly and, and significantly without needing to know that. But we feel like we have this, uh, I don't know what, it, what, what word would you say, uh, like we have uh, this, this right or, or this obligation to tell people this thing that we call the truth. But it's not the truth. The truth of the matter is, is I wanted to stay in Ahimsa, and as long as I stay in Ahimsa, it wasn't necessary for me to tell a truth that wasn't going to help her live her life. Um, I hear a lot of people like said, uh, saying like something like, well, that's how I am. But if, if you're saying it in a way that you can offend the other person, that's not being honest. No. Correct? You're hurting that person. You're and not practicing a hymn set. Yes, you're saying, oh, that's how I am. That's how my character is. That's how I am. And, but you're being rude. You know? You're hurting other people. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so do you understand how you can't have a hymn set and tell the truth? You can't. You can't tell me that you're saying the truth, and 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 if I and if I say to her, God, your hair doesn't look so good, even if I don't use the words that hair is shit, I'm not telling the truth because I know deep. I'm not saying in ahimsa. I may be telling the truth, but I'm not staying in ahimsa. Does that make sense? Because it's not considerate for me to tell her that. Does that make sense? Are you guys still? Are you following me? Oh, yes. I know you are, but are you girls following yeah. me? <laughs> yes. Right? Even though that's the truth, it's not considerate. And this and Sacha is say the truth except when you are going to hurt somebody. And that when you are going to hurt somebody, then you're not practicing ahimsa. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes. Please tell me you understand. Yes. <laughs> because that's how the yamas work. You cannot have one without the other. They all build upon themselves, and that's when we begin to live, when we begin to really work and focus, yeah? Yes. Any final questions on how they work together? Did that answer your question, Nia? Did that clarify? Yes. <laughs> I usually always hear best friends, because um, um, you know my best friend, we always tell each other, oh, okay, if um, you see him with another girl, you tell me, and I think so, is that bad? Do we make like that little promise to each other? If you know it's going to hurt her, why would, see, that's different. If you're telling me, are you going to practice ahimsa? If you know the truth is going to hurt her, you're not in sacha. Now, if you say, you might, if she asks, 
you say you might consider looking further into it. That's it. Change the subject. You know what? You guys are so trying to control the truth, but it, when everything that's supposed to happen will happen, and there's a lesson for her. There's a lesson for her. If she finds it out on her own, there's a lesson. We didn't have that. You see, we didn't do that. There, now, let me tell you, reverse the lesson, and then we got to get into the, the yoga. I know you, this is always one of those, like, this is so fun. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. We didn't have that. We didn't have that pact, right? So what happened was, um, because we didn't have that pact, my boyfriend was always with other girls. Always, right? My friends all knew it, but I didn't put that onus on them because it wasn't considerate for me to, to put that onus on them. They have no business having that onus. We take care of our own business, right? So when I finally found him in bed with somebody else at a party, accidentally, because I went into the wrong room, it was supposed to be that way. It was supposed to be that way. I didn't go to my friend and say, hey, how come you didn't tell me? No, there was a lesson in that. My lesson was that I was too trusting that I allowed myself, I allowed myself to trust him when, when it sounded good, and it showed me that I had low self-esteem. He, he reeled me in. He said, I, you're so beautiful. I, you're so intelligent. I, you're so good. I, you're so this. And, and, and I, my, my self-esteem was so down at that time that I was like floating on, you know, and so whatever he told me, I was like, my, my parents said, you guys know Spanish, en diosada, right? Whatever he said, that was it. If he would have said, honey, walk to the edge of the cliff and then float, I would have tried. I mean, that's, that's, but you see, had they, had they told me, I wouldn't have believed them. I would not have believed them. I would have gotten angry at them for making lies because I would have believed him first. Do you see? the kind of trouble you get yourself into. When you stay out of satya and you stay out of ahimsa, it's not considerate to say a truth that's going to hurt. There is your ahimsa and there's your satya. I had to learn that my self-esteem was so low that I couldn't have handled them telling me. But I had to learn on my own that I was too trusting, and that it was due to my low self-esteem that I allowed myself to be in that situation. We are responsible for our own actions. We're responsible for everything we create. I created that because I didn't have enough self-esteem and trust in myself. You see? And that is the one true truth. And that is the one true truth we all hate. I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm just saying, right? You want to follow the yamas. They will never lead you wrong. You cannot be considerate and tell the truth if the truth is hurting them. If the truth is not considerate to them, you're out of ahimsa. And you can't just say, well, I'm just going to practice satya like she said. You know, you look like shit today and you look like you're 60 and you look like you're 13 and... You know, and that's not considerate. And what'd you eat last night? You got the taco hanging on your belly. <laughs> right? It's the truth, right? But it's like, it, you see, I'm out of, I'm out of ahimsa. I can't be in satya and be out of ahimsa. They all work together. You had a question, Amy. 